Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion and lifestyle content in particular for the woman over 40. Now, day before yesterday, I was watching the Grammys recap and Jay-Z, Jay-Z read them for filth. Anyway, um, as I was watching, I was looking at the fashion and I was scrolling uh, on Cat Williams internet, looking at the, <laughs> the dresses that the women wore and the suits and all the different fashions. And now I realized I've never done um, a best and worst dress commentary on my YouTube channel for any award show ever. So, hence this video, I thought I'd do that. And I also want you all to tell me if this is something you want in the future. Cause if you, you don't want it, you don't want to see it, then I'm okay with it. Cause again, I'm here for you. The content is for you. It's for me too, but it's for you. So let me know if, if you love it or if you, yeah, we'll just stick with uh, fashion, fashion the way I do it. Um, but it was fun. So if you like to see some of my favorite looks from this year's Grammys um, and some of the looks I just didn't understand what they were doing. <laughs> then stay tuned now, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, this is my outfit of the day. I know somebody's gonna ask about what do I have on? And it is this dress. Now, I'm gonna be honest, when I took the dress out of the pack, I was like, no, they didn't, no, they, no, no, they didn't. This dress is from Amazon. Um, I saw it somewhere on someone. I thought that was really, really pretty. It looks very tribal. It looks like something I would wear. And I didn't look at the pictures on Amazon when I saw the dress and did not realize that the this, this situation was going on on the side. So when I pulled it out of the pack, I was like, mm -mm, they got me, I'm, I'm gonna send this back. I'm gonna send it back. But when I put it on, okay, I started feeling kind of cute. I, I started feeling kind of cute. And I was asking about, I said, why would they put holes in a sweater dress? But this is a, um, a thin knit sweater dress. It's not very thick at all. And it's not so stretchy that it's, it snatches you in so much that it shows all the, you know, stuff you don't want people to know about. Um, and I like her, I, I'm gonna keep her, I like her. This could be worn late into spring, not summer because it's long sleeve and the sweater dress, but I think it's cute. I do wish the holes were a little bit smaller or that they weren't there at all, but I, I love it. I, I, I actually, I, I do, but I was not happy when I opened it. So this is what it looks like, it has long sleeves. Yeah, that's, that's my side right there. This is what the back looks like, yeah, and there's, there's an opening on both sides. I do wish it was a little bit smaller. Um, but I do love the dress. It looks very African-esque, very tribal to me. So I would wear this with these strappy black shoes and I would definitely not wear a black purse. Um, oh, <laughs> since it's red season, I could do this red purse. This looks cute, this cream black and red, or even a pink, purse, not a light pink, because that's just, it's not gonna go well. A pink purse, but if I wanted to do something more neutral, I would do something like this. This Celine bag would look great with this dress. It's a very neutral bag. It's not gonna take away from the dress, and this is the perfect size and it's really cute. So this is how I would style it. Actually, I am going out of the house today. <laughs> this is how I would wear it out of the house today. And of course, I have gold jewelry, I have a gold necklace, and uh, my shop core earrings, of course. She has got so much of my money, but she did send me like three or four pair of earrings for talking about her earrings, which I thought was really thoughtful and such a beautiful gesture. Although she didn't have to, because I'm gonna keep buying them. Ordered some last week. If you haven't looked on her site, she has some small heart earrings with rhinestones in them. I ordered those and I think I ordered something else. She, whew, she just keeps getting my coins. But anyway, this is my look for today. And oh, what perfume am I going to wear? See, 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 see. I think I'll do the Oud Satin Mood again. I had this on the other day. I went to an event and everyone loved it. It smells, see, see, see that dent in it? It smells so good. True Oud scent and has a very soft powdery note on the end. So that is my outfit of the day. Now let's get started with the video. 
I almost forgot my coffee mug for today is the Starbucks mug. I'm trying to straighten this out. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. The Starbucks mug from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which is where I met my husband. That's, that looks like an old Saudi castle. I've been to one that looks just like that. But this is the mug. One of my favorites. I have my notes here so I don't forget who the designer is. The first look on the list is by Taylor Swift herself and she is in Scaparelli Haute Couture. Um, she has an old school glamorous look. She is channeling glamour when, in an era when everything was glamorous. The hair, the gloves, the entire look was just chic and elevated. I know some people had issues with, well, the people in fashion, the people in fashion had issues with this look because it's Scaparelli. And if you don't know, Scaparelli is usually a little bit avant-garde, but this look is very old school glamorous and it's not over the top, but I love it. I would wear this look in a heartbeat. I love the slit. I love the fact that she has on the black gloves, the opera gloves, and I love her shoes where it's a, a peak toe shoe, but it doesn't have a um, strap across the foot. So it makes her legs look really long. Her lipstick, the jewelry that she has on, the entire look was a 10 out of 10 for me. It's beautiful. It's not expected. I've seen the silhouette before, but it's still a very, very glamorous look. I think it's beautiful. Just very sophisticated and definitely something I would wear. Next, we have Miss Janelle Bonet. Janelle said, I did not come here to play with you all. I did not come here to play with you. She is in Armani Privé and it has the little rose set detailing in the front of it with a little twist. I love the hair and she has, she has this Betty Boop vibe going on. I, think I saw this haircut on several ladies in this fashion show. She is stunning. She is in her signature black and white look, but it's just not your regular, your ordinary black and white, honey. It has the sequins. I love the detail of the neckline, the pointed, it's fitted to the gods, or uh, the G-A-W-D-S as the, as the ladies, uh, not the ladies, as the young ladies like to say. It's just beautiful. It fits her to perfection. The silhouette is very feminine. It, it's tapered in the waist and it just looks gorgeous. The uh, jewelry is minimal. Her skin is glowing. It looks fresh. It looks dewy. This is a fabulous statement look. I, I did not come here to play with y'all. I'm here. Next we have Miss Chloe Bailey and she just looks like a bronze goddess. I love, love, love her dress. I just think the color of her hair and her dress go very well together. Uh, the gown is by a, oh Lord, Garav, Garav Gupta. Um, and that, that, that deep copper of her hair just pairs really, really well with the dress. And she looks very feminine. She looks very young, very youthful. She's beautiful. She, her skin looks fantastic. The entire look is another 10 out of 10 for me. Next, we have her sister Haley, who is in Gucci. She is looking gorgeous. Again, she's styled to perfection from the hair down to the shoe. I love the minimal makeup. I love the lariat necklace around her neck. It just draws the eye down, makes her look very tall. She came to look fabulous and mission accomplished. She looks beautiful. She looks very youthful. I wouldn't take anything away from this look. I just think it's gorgeous. Great, great pick. Next we have Sophia Ritchie and she wasn't there to walk the red carpet but she stood out to me because she is glowing. As you can see she's pregnant. I don't know how many months she is but that baby has her looking like a million bucks. Her skin looks fantastic. She looks regal. She looks just beautiful. She's in Saint Laurent of course. Um, she just looks very sophisticated and very elegant and this, it's the way that I wish I would have looked when I was pregnant. I was Mm -mm, I was sick the entire time. It was a, a miserable, miserable experience. But I guess the Lord said, um, since you went through all that misery, I'm going to give you a, a fantastic blessing. And my daughter was, has been nothing less than the a most amazing child, the easiest child to raise. She's a wonderful young lady. I'm so proud of the person that she is. Just a beautiful, beautiful person. And I am honored to be her mother. Lucky me. Next we have Miss Nikki. Mm -mm. Next we have Miss Nisi Nash. She is in this silver gown with a gold floral 
appliques and the matching gloves. It looks definitely like something that Nisha would wear. It's very feminine with, with the tucked in waist. It accentuates her curves really beautifully. Her hair is beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. Um, but I, I wish she had done something a little different, something not quite so expected from her. Um, I've seen her in some more amazing looks, but, but she does look fantastic. Next, we have Miley Cyrus. Now, when I first saw this look, um, I, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on with this. I, it's not something definitely that I would have chosen. Um, would I have chosen it at her age? Probably. Yeah, probably would have. It's not something that I like right now. It is a chain mail is, uh, it's chain mail and gold safety pins <laughs> is what the dress is made of. It's by Mason Margiela. She looks great in it. Her skin looks fantastic. It's glowing. I love the fact that she has the um, sheer or nude color underwear under panties up under it. So you can't really see them. So just all you see is the dress. I'm not really feeling the hair though. I'm not feeling the hair. I think the hair should have been slicked back. She should have had a different look with the hair. The makeup is beautiful. Maybe the contour on the cheek was a bit much, but she looks beautiful. The hair I, I didn't care for, and I didn't really care for the shoes. I felt like she should have had some strappy shoes. I understand the shoes there for my Mason Margiela as well. They're like my tabby boots. They're a tabby shoe. So if you zoom in, you'll see the little split on the shoe. But I felt like the shoe was entirely too heavy for the dress. The dress is very light, very airy. I feel like a more strappy shoe would have looked a lot better with it. But the color is beautiful. She didn't look like anyone else, anyone else at the um at the Grammy. So she definitely gets a pass. And because she's young, I think it looks beautiful on, on, on this young lady. Next we have Fantasia Barino and Kong Tree. I love the dress. I love the swooping of the neckline. I love the color, the contrast coloring. I like the silhouette of the dress. Um, her makeup is flawless, but I didn't care for the eye makeup. It, it makes her eyes look a little turned down. It, look, it looks sad. It makes her eyes look sad. Um, I understand the lip clip, but I, I don't like it. I, I, I don't like it. Um, and I would have taken off the gloves. I understand the gloves match the dress, but I would have taken the gloves off, put, um, maybe some diamond bangles on or something a small diamond bracelet on and maybe a purse that kind of matches the color of the dress i think the gloves were a bit too much and the lip clip um didn't like it but other than that she looks beautiful and she also has the betty boop hairdo fantasia's hair is always a hundred percent gorgeous i don't know who styles her hair but they get it right every single time next we have victoria monet and she is in this custom silk milk chocolate Versace gown. This gown is fitted to perfection. I love, love, I love the color. I love the way it lays on her. I love how feminine it looks. It's just stunning. Her jewelry is from Bulgaria. You can see the, the snake necklace that's on the hooks around the neck. I think it pairs very, very well with the dress. Just a beautiful combination. She looks like a, a bronze goddess. She does. And the draping of the dress is just so feminine and the, the, the corset lines on the waist up to the bust look beautiful. That neckline of that dress is gorgeous. I don't know, I have not seen that before. Um, I, I'm sure it's not new. It's very feminine, it's just beautiful. This dress is 10 out of 10 for me and it, it would look great in any color. I think she looks fantastic and it was so cute. Her daughter had on a dress made with the exact same fabric. So they were twinning at the war show. And I thought that was really, really cute. Next we have Dawn Richards and um, Kosrov. I, I get that the dress is very artistic. Um, I think it would have looked better at the Met Gala when everything is over the top. It's not for me. It, it's just not for me. It reminds me of that tree. What is it? Gu Guardians of the Galaxy, the little tree man. It reminds me of that. I, I didn't like it at all. I, I did not. The color was beautiful. The dress itself, I didn't like it. Move on, next. Next we have Michael Trotter Jr. and his wife, 
Tanya Trotter. Let me start with Tanya first. This pastel lilac color is beautiful on her. The dress is styled well. It, the fit is perfect. I love the draping on the front of it. I love the chiffon look with the um, underlay under it. I love the bust line. I think it's a beautiful silhouette for her shape. Her makeup is pure perfection. Her hairstyle is beautiful. Whoever did her hair and her who chose the dress, her, whoever her stylist was, did a fantastic job. They need a tip. She looks amazing. Um, her, her, her husband's outfit, um, the color I feel like was just wrong. I don't, especially when they're together. Um, I think whoever did this should have taken a page out of Will and Jada's looks. You know, when they're styled together, their, their colors are very complimentary of one another. The fact that he has on this bold chartreuse green and she has on the purple kind of looks more eastery. Um, don't like the fit of the clothes on him either. I feel like his pants are too short. The boot cut pant, I just don't, I, it's a no. That's all I'm gonna say because I don't know about talking about my husband. He looks happy though. He looks happy, I, but I can't imagine he put this on and felt like it fit very well and he would really wanted to wear this. They probably had him, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it at that. Next. Calvin Harris and Vic Hope, they look great together. The, both of them look amazing. They look like they just came back from a tropical vacation. They're glowing. Both of them are smiling. They look happy. The skin looks moisturized. They look beautiful. And I love, love the pattern on his suit. He has on a suit, but it's just not your regular suit. The, the cut, the silhouette is a regular classic cut, but the pattern is not. And it's not a bold pattern. It's, it's, it's almost the same color as the suit, but I just love that detail. I think he looks sophisticated. He just stands out and he looks great. And her dress looks beautiful. I think they look very, very well together. It looks like whoever chose her dress thought about his suit and vice versa. These two looks look great together. Next, we have Miss Coco Jones and Celia. Oh Lord, this last name. Krithria, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not gonna even try it. Her, her name starts with a K, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> she looks beautiful in this silver chain mail gown. I think, think it's wonderful. I love the bias cut of the gown. I think it gives it a little more interest. It looks appropriate for the Grammys. I do feel though, I feel like the neckline, I, I, not the deep V, because I think it looks gorgeous on her. It really does. I feel like the, it, it needed a, like a half inch more fabric because I saw her in action on and I saw her kind of tugging at it, kind of pulling it in. So I feel like it needed a half an inch more fabric um, to lay on her bust so that she'd feel a lot more comfortable. Like it's, it looks like it's going to pop off. Uh, my, she might have a wardrobe malfunction, <clears throat> Janet. Anyway, but other than that, she looks beautiful and the gown is gorgeous. The next person on the list is Tyler. I don't know if you all know who she is. I'm sure you've heard that song. Take me water. Oh, it's called Water. I can't do that dance for some handle, but okay, let's start with that. Um, but you've heard her talk about, if you've heard that, it was all over, all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all, it's just a, a, a nice dance song. All the girls are doing the dance to it and they put the water. Yeah, not, not, not grown women though, not grown women. But she, she actually won a Grammy. She is in a Versace gown. It kind of reminds me of the, the cut of that gown that Jennifer Lopez wore. I think it looks beautiful on her. This is a gown only a young lady, a young lady or very, very, very fit <laughs> lady could wear. I love the meshing on the one side. You can see where it's kind, it's covering skin, but it's giving some skin as well. You can, the, it's a peekaboo kind of, um, look and the bottom of the dress is very flowy like her water song. I think the color, the seafoam green, I think it's perfect. The dress looks gorgeous on her. She is wearing a dress. The dress is not wearing her. It looks great and it goes very, very well with her song. I saw her actually walking with the dress on stage and it was just flowing. It's just a beautiful, beautiful dress. Perfect for her. Okay. Oh Lord. Next, um, this, these next people on the list, um, I just didn't, mm -mm. let me just go ahead and they're gonna fall under the work stress. The first one is Doja Cat. Uh, she is wearing the Lara Finda Coglu. The Lara Finda Coglu. Coglu. One of the two. Um, 
she has the dress designer's name tattooed across the forehead. So if you look at her, you're trying to figure out what it is across the forehead. It's the, the designer of the dress. Um, I don't know why she got those reading glasses on. The, and then all these extra tattoos, these are these are not her real tattoos. Some of the tattoos on her arm are real, but some of them are not. But this across her chest is, uh, is not, it's just painted on tattoo. Um, this just goes straight to the dress. And I don't have anything against tattoos. Let's go straight to the dress. It was hideous. I didn't like the, the color was okay. The styling was very, very off. She had these sheer pieces under, underneath and it looks like they were pushed to the back and bunched up in the back to where in the back, she looked like she's wearing a diaper. And I think all that so that you could see her skin through the front of the dress. Why not just take the panels off on the inside? It just looks, it was poorly designed. Um, I don't like that giant zipper going up the back. I think it should have been an invisible zipper. And what I like least of all, and she knew this, and I'm sure they did it for her intentionally, was the fact that her areola, that's not, part of the dress is it's, it's blurred out but that's her areola sticking out the top of the dress my mama would kill me and I'm 53 years old I could, I could not I would mm -mm. I, I that's just I just don't like anything about this look at all and not even the giant red clunky shoes I think it's just mm -mm. I don't like it at all next we have Lena Del Rey now she looked like the That little girl from the Adam family, you know how she always looked dark, like dark. She, that's that's the look she was giving. She just her her hair is stark black. Her her it, it, the dress is stark black. The shoes is stark black, and her skin is very. It just didn't look. She looked she looked like a little girl. So like someone dressed her to go to a funeral as a little girl. It looks horrible. And, and what I couldn't understand is she went to a pre Grammys party. And looked beautiful. She had on all black there too. And she looked beautiful. That look was stunning. But her Grammys look, did not like it at all. The next look um, by Ella Belinska, um, it wasn't a horrible look, but it just looked like it was inappropriate. It looked like something you wear on your, um, on your honeymoon. Something you should wear for your husband. And I think it was the, the garter, the being able to see the garter under the dress. It just felt like it was just um, inappropriate for out of the house. Not just out of the house, out of the bedroom. Yes, didn't like that at all. Um, next on the list is Mark Runson. He had on white athletic socks with his suit. I know that man has more socks than that. I don't know whose idea that was. Horrible idea. I d Back of the line, you own fashion suspension and then to top it off he had the peekaboo tom S <laughs> oh y'all my generation the peekaboo tom Selleck coming up right here and my husband has chest hair mm -mm. no mm -mm. wrong wrong if you were outside washing your car it'd be a whole different story but you had the grammys nope mm -mm. wrong place and my least favorite um was billy eilish I don't know where she, I, I don't know where she was supposed to be going with this look. I don't, I just find it crazy that she was at the Grammys with this look. I don't, she like she was going to the grocery store or she was going to school. That, I don't like anything about it. I don't like the way it's extremely oversized, the, the pink and black. It is just, the, the, all of it didn't like the look at all. Um, see if there's something positive I can say. She's pretty positive about the, the 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 clothes I like a bomber jacket just not that one that's it well that's it family let me know if you want me to do this this type of mm -mm. well that's it family let me know if you want to do this <laughs> oh my goodness well that's it family let me know if you want to not three times in a row okay one more time well, that's it, family. Let me know if you want me to do this type of commentary in the future. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed really looking at the looks and doing the research about who created the looks. And, and what they should have is the list of the stylist who actually styled these clothes or whoever told the person that was wearing the clothes that it was okay 
to go out the house with white socks on, white athletic socks with dress shoes. Anyway, that's what we should, that's what they should have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you and the Lord loves you. And I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.